Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing one of our conference finals previews for the 2022 conference finals previews. Now before we start this preview of the Rangers against the Lightning, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new and you want to see more hockey content from me. So, let's get started. Starting off, we'll do a very brief summary of how these two teams got here in the playoffs up to this point. And of course, we'll kick it off with New York. The Rangers had a thrilling 3-1 series comeback against the Pittsburgh Penguins. And then they were able to win that one in Game 7 in overtime, thanks to an Artemi Panarin goal. Then came back from being down 2-0 and 3-2 in a series against the Carolina Hurricanes to go on to the Conference Finals for the first time since 2015, where they lost to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Speaking of Tampa Bay, they managed to win a hard series against the Toronto Maple Leafs in round one. That was also in game seven. They then proceeded to sweep the President's Trophy winners, the Florida Panthers, and now look to go back to the Stanley Cup final for the third straight season. So, what are some of the narratives, factors we should expect for this series? Well, a big one is going to be whether or not Tampa Bay can get back some of their guys. Braden Point is by far the biggest name here as the star forward missed all of their second round with a lower body injury and is unlikely reportedly to play in game one. Tampa's group is deep and they certainly have enough talent to still be a deadly bunch, but not having Point for any stretch of this series is a very not ideal thing. In the previous two seasons where Point ranked 22nd in the league for points and also he ranked 20th for goals in these past two regular seasons excluding this one so they're two cup runs and make no mistake John Cooper wants him back and considering that he's been their league or their leading goal scorer in their combined cup runs you know what he can do I believe he has 29 goals in the past two postseasons the next I believe is Kucherov with 16 so will he return I don't know but his absence could be a big problem for the Bolts the other injury we have to talk about is Brandon Hagel's status the bagel Hagel as they call him was acquired in a trade by Tampa Bay from Chicago this season and the 23 year old could really be a pivotal part of this series on the third line. The Rangers are a very top heavy group and their third line you know has some exciting names but I'd say that Tampa Bay has the better lines here and another injury like this would be a big boost for the Rangers knowing that they have two productive players out for Tampa Bay as the Rangers try to go on to the Stanley Cup. So, I will say, Hagel does seem like a 50-50 to play in the game, the first game of the series, and I'm willing to bet he'll probably play because he had a foot injury that he played through. I think he'll do it again here. Another factor in this series will be whether or not the top six of New York will be able to outplay Tampa's top six. At the end of the day, there have been some contributions from the bottom six guys for the Rangers, but in all likelihood, you will have to see some of the bigger names for New York get it done in order for them to go on to the final. Can this group do it? We'll have to see as their power play will likely be a big point here as it was clicking in that series against the uh, Carolina Hurricanes and I believe it was clicking as well against the Pittsburgh Penguins. And the Rangers are in pretty good shape if Mika Zibanejad can do this here. He had a stretch of four straight games against Carolina where he had goals. Three of those came on the power play. So you're hoping maybe he can click. You'd really like to see a guy like Ryan Strom get going too. Had 21 goals this season in the regular season, but only has two in the postseason in 14 games played, both of them coming against Carolina in Game 7. Not a bad time to pick up goals, but you'd like to see more from him. Theoretically, Strom should catch a break as he's been the Rangers' best player this postseason in expected goals, 4 percentage, and individual expected goals with a total of 5 there. But against a team like Tampa Bay, you're thinking he might not get that bounce back that you're hoping considering the looks he's had so far. Would I expect someone like Frank Vetrano to step up? No, I really wouldn't. And I don't want to be mean here, but you're probably left needing guys like Panarin and Kreider to do more of them than you would typically ask in order for them to get their edge in this top six battle. Why am I stressing this so much? Well, really, it's because New York's bottom six, primarily their fourth line, does not strike me as this deadly group. And I know that New York has got a fourth line that is pretty big and people will be like, Oh, well, New York can just bully people with their fourth line. Problem is, you look at this and you realize that Tampa Bay's got a pretty big fourth line too. You've got Maroon, you've got Ruta, uh, you've just got a lot of guys that are very good. And I see their bottom line guys as being the better group here. So you really need that top six to be more productive. And for the final matchup in this series, in between the pipes, it's going to be Igor Shesterkin facing off against Andre Vasilevsky, as the two Russian goalies have proven just how valuable they are to their two teams. 
for New York, Igor has been a rock most of the year. And in the second round, he posted a 949 save percentage to help carry his team to the third round. He's been a workhorse for them in all reality here. And the Rangers have been actually out attempted 818 to 684 during the postseason. And this likely will continue in this round. As you saw, Tampa Bay kind of get outshot there in big stretches between Toronto and Florida, but I think the script is going to get flipped here as you could see them have a bigger edge in that shots for percentage, so you're probably going to need Igor to play like he has been. As for Vasilevsky, it's good to see him get to his old self in the first round. He had an 897 save percentage in round one against the Maple Leafs. Compared to a 981 save percentage against the Panthers in the second round, we are allowed three goals in four games, so you got to figure this is going to be a big-time battle between these two goalies, and I'm really hoping both of them can play well because we love a good goalie battle. Vassy has the experience, and so does the rest of his team, but we also have to see and understand the fact they've had three deep runs now consecutively, and you have to wonder what you'd expect from the group. So, having said all this, I have to make a pick, and I will be picking the... Tampa Bay Lightning in six games. New York may have got past Pittsburgh. They may have got past Carolina. Tampa Bay is a whole different beast, and I expect them to be able to take care of the Rangers. The main thing that really could be an advantage for New York right away is Tampa's injuries, which you have to take advantage of, and the fact that the Lightning have had nine days off. But if Tampa's able to get off to a hot start, the only thing saving the Rangers likely is Igor. So I have to see how that goes. But now it's time to hear who you'd pick, so make sure to comment down below who will win and in how many games. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you are new want to see more content from me. Also, don't forget to check out my other series previews. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video, which will be a spot for you to click and hopefully watch those as well. Everyone, stay safe. Hey, have a great night. And you go off hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.